see him around no more. Samuel always thought that the pew on Sunday went hand in hand with the desk on Monday. Science is the slow revelation of God's blueprint. After two years in the Lamb's Tower on Monument Island, he took ill with cancer of the... stomach. I prayed to the prophet, and the prophet delivered unto us a miracle through his servant, Fink. I do not know if I will ever get used to a husband bound in a skeleton of metal, but better a handyman than a dead one.
private property. You're looking for trouble because I'm more than happy to be of service.
most common complaint I hear from the working man is that they are unhappy with their lot. Well, why torment yourself, I ask? The ox cannot become a lion, and why would you want to? Who wants all those responsibilities and worry? You do your job, you eat your food, you go to sleep. Simplicity is beauty. Just want to talk to you! I said stay away! <laughs> Elizabeth! Just hold up for a minute! I'm not angry with you! Get away from me! Stay away! Hey, watch out! Move it! Move! Just stay back! God damn it! I am not going with you! Don't go in there! I have no need of one such as you! No, no, no! a monster and a traitor. I know the men who died in all of Heroes with Captain Slate. There is no shame to be counted in their number. The shame lies to we who assembled outside the hall. Though we were not the ones who fell, I feel only envy for those who perished under his banner.
Get your hands off Keep of me! Shut. Let me go! Comstock wants you, and we mean to give you to him! <laughs> Won't you be quiet? <laughs> Yourself. Come on. I see him! My patience is done run out! Oh.
to get our airship back. You can get us out of here. Yes. I just need to supply enough weapons to arm an entire uprising. And where will we get these weapons? From one of our many friends and allies? A gunsmith in Finkton. Should be a walk in the park. What do you say? Partners? You're a liar, Mr. DeWitt. And a thug. But you're also my only means of reaching Paris. <laughs> along and tells you that you are getting the short end of the stick. It, do you know what they're really saying? <laughs> Don't get too comfortable with my company, friend. Mr. DeWitt. What you do you are a means to an end. No more. You're being taken for a fool, and friend, you're no better than a slave. Well, here's what you tell those stuffed shirts. You say, I ain't no slave. I ain't no fool. I... I am a fake man, and proud of it. Can you open this? Oh, this won't take long at all. Ready. Now, Mr. Fink's a good man. You work hard, and I know he'll reward you.
I would be your gunsmith. Who sent you to find this person? Daisy Fitzroy. She's either a great hero or the worst of scoundrels, depending on who's doing the telling. She's good for an airship. I don't care if she's the Queen of Holland. Booker, there's a lockpick over there. Out with this lock. Done. Over there, a service elevator. I should take us down to Finkton. And get ourselves killed in the bargain. <laughs> going to get into Finkton. Illegally. Let's look for another way in. Fink Industries is not recruiting at this time. Please come again. Unlocked. Elizabeth! Ready.
Defend the city! Smith Chen Lin wanted for known connections to the outlaw Daisy Fitzroy. Looks like our guy's drawn attention. That's not good, is it? No. Could you take a look at this lock? Oh, this won't take long at all. some money. Okay. Here. Seems easy enough. Here go. Nice. Here's some cash. Here you go. Locker. He must have worked here. Uh, 
This is my mother's diary. Why would Slate have it? My husband claims the child was created from whole cloth by divine will. I am a believer, but I am not a fool. His bastard shall not be raised under this roof. My mother, she had me locked in that tower. Elizabeth. I just want to get out of this city. Please. Jeremiah Fick, and I want to share with you my personal creed. What is the most admirable creature on God's green earth? Why, it's the bee! Have you ever seen a bee on vacation? Have you ever seen a bee take a sick day? Well, my friends, the answer is no. So I say, be the bee! Be the bee! Mr. DeWitt? Uh, yes. Hold for Mr. Fink, please. What's going on? DeWitt, Fink here. Listen, my boy, we've had our eye on you, and I can tell you right now that you are our top candidate. Top! <laughs> now, uh, my associate, Mr. Flambeau, will help you with anything you need. <laughs> what the hell was that? I have no idea. He seems oddly pleased to make your acquaintance. The man's got an ego. find a variety of supplies here that should see you through your visit. What does Mr. Fink want with us? Excuse me, miss, but Mr. Fink's interest is strictly in the gentleman. But why... So sorry, young miss, but any questions regarding the gentleman's application should be taken up with Mr. Fink directly. Does this strike you as good news? It doesn't strike me as good news. What do you think? Head to the gunsmith or scavenge supplies by the clock shop? You see, my friends, the idle hand is the tool of the devil. You take industry from a man's hand, and what goes in its place? Whiskey, women, and dice. And I, for one, will not have that in our friendly little town. No, sir, I will not. Look, a cipher. 
A secret message from the Vox Populi. Well, you're the junior codebreaker. What's it say? Don't know. There should be a codebook somewhere. Huh. So you need to find the codebook? Yes. Things been impounded at the Good Time Club. Maybe that's where we'll find it. some money. Want it? Great. Huh. One day, ain't nobody noticed me. Then they think I done for Lady Comstock. Well, everybody noticed me. I head to Finkton and I deep. The more they look, deeper I go. Only thing a color child can count on is the fact they invisible.
Jeremiah Fink has a philosophy. You see, your company is like Noah's Ark. You have the lions, whose purpose is to keep order amongst the lesser creatures. You have the cows, the bottom song before. I don't suspect anyone's heard that song. Here it is, Booker. Chen Lin, gunsmith. Found some money. Want it? Much obliged. I have a pressing need to speak to this so called false shepherd stirring up so much trouble. We got enough problems without this damn fool shooting up the city and blaming it all on the Vox. Though if he's amiable. Yeah, yeah, he might be just the fellow we need for our immediate concerns. Gautama Buddha. Who? The founder of Buddhism. He spent 49 days under a Bodhi tree until he achieved enlightenment. Someone tells me Comstock doesn't cater to idols getting worship that ain't him. Hello? Hello? Mr. Lin? Chen Lin? Is anybody here? What happened here? Someone worked this place over. Local constabulary, no doubt. Do you hear that? There's someone downstairs.
Excuse me. Ma'am, I'm sorry to bother you. I... We're looking for Mr. Lin. Mr. Chen Lin. Booker. Mr. Lin, not here. He... gone. Gone? They take... flying squad. I pray, Gautama Buddha. Pray, give husband back. Give back to Melin. Where did they take him? Club. Everyone take to good time club. Where is this club? <laughs> Ma'am, please, where, where is this club? Booker, we'll find it. Just leave her be. Why not Vox Bully help Chen Lin? Why not Daisy Fitzroy help Chen Lin? <laughs> Cops. The kind who probably got their boot on Lin's throat asking him how well he knows Daisy Fitzroy. Isn't she the one we're working for? As a matter of fact, it is. Let's figure out where this good time club is. you, Mr. DeWitt. But I must admit, you know your way around a brawl. I'm sorry about what I said at the docks. Calling you a thug. Yeah. Can't see how I might have changed your sense of that. You protected me. Job's a job. Side and find Mr. Lin, and just call me Booker. The hyena is a trickster. They
Viceroy has got the jungle all riled up. A man like me would have use of an old Pinkerton like you. Find Shen Lin and get the hell out of here. Now, now, all I ask is that you finish what you started to it. Wouldn't want to disappoint the other applicants. No. Now, our Hi. first candidate is a veteran of Peking. Now, oh, what's that they say about old soldiers? <laughs> Frankly, my money's on you. He's something of an old Do it. hand. Done. Handling explosives. Only man I know who hasn't <laughs> lost a limb working with them. <laughs> Yet. Fireman Booker! <laughs>
true rival is an expert with the automata. Wants to replace all our security with machines. I'll give the old boy credit, though. It would be fewer mouths to feed. <laughs> interested in your job, Fink. Now, now, I know all about your little job for Fitzroy. But do you really want to take her offer over mine? Do you know how many people would kill to be head of Fink security? <laughs> You're a tough nut to crack, Mr. DeWitt. A tough nut. <laughs> but I promise you this. I will get what I want. There's a door over here. I think that's the way down. I see a lockpick over there. More money. Catch, Booker. Wonderful music trumpeting from holes in the thin air. I began to doubt your mental integrity. But not only have you made your fortune from these two dads, you have lit the path for me as well. Crack this one open? Let me see. I used to work for folks like Fink. Really? And I was with the Pinkertons. They call us in when the workers got restless. To do what? Demonstrate the folly of men striking, throwing down tools. You hurt people. I'll tell you this. 
Sometimes there's precious need for folks like Fitzroy. Why? Because of folks like me. Ready. down here. No mercy. open looks simple enough all done it's locked give me a second this is it, isn't it? Yep. Number nine. There. Do it? You're a lion. But you can't blame me for looking after my own interests, you can wanna you? Wanna hold on to this? Now I know Fitzroy has come calling. But I think you'll find your business with her has come to an end. <laughs> lions walk with lions, do it? Not hyenas! He meant. 
Now we need to find someone else to make those guns. No. Dead is dead, Elizabeth. Dead is dead. What? Where the hell did... I see heads. And I see tails. It's all a matter of perspective. Why are you following us? Who sent you? Comstock? What do you want? What do you see here, from this angle? Dead. Listen. And that angle? Alive. Walker. Shen Lin. This is becoming rather awkward. This one needs a bit of a nudge. The body's gone. It was never here. It's another Columbia. A different Columbia. The same coin. A different perspective. Heads. Tails. Dead. Alive. We have to go through to this other Columbia, but how? It's like riding a bicycle. One never really forgets. One just needs the courage to climb aboard. If we go into this tear, I don't think I'll be able to bring us back. Are you sure you're ready? Okay, open it. Look, there's no blood. And no body. It's another world, Booker. Another Columbia. Something tells me one dead gunsmith ain't the only thing that's changed. Chen Lin is alive now. We're in a world where he was never murdered. Somewhere we'll find out why, I suppose. I don't suspect you can change something like that and have everything else remain the same.
lockpicks. You can always use more of them.
found some money. Want it? Fink isn't giving you the job. Anything? Huh? No machines. No tools. Let's go find that gunsmith. Maybe he's upstairs now. Booker, look. The shrine. It's a figure of Comstock now. Mr. Lin? Chen Lin? Excuse me, Chen Lin? Who are you? You speak up! Speak up! Can't hear you over all these machines! Very loud! I'm Booker DeWitt. Stand back! These machines very dangerous. Wait downstairs with Mrs. Lin. Uh, Daisy Fitzroy sent us. We need to talk to you about getting some weapons. Machines very dangerous. No place for stupid people. Want to lose pretty head? Mr. Lin- Downstairs! What is wrong with him? Remember him dead in that cell? Maybe in, in some way he remembers that too. How would you reconcile that? I don't know. Kill my husband? Calm his troubled thoughts. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm looking for Mrs. Lin. I'm Mrs. Lin? No, I, I mean a little <clears throat> Chinese lady. She was... Booker, this is Mrs. Lin. They took Chen's tools. What's he got without his tools? Well, your husband is a bit out of sorts. If he could work again, maybe... If, if he could work, he'd... Mrs. Lin, can you tell me who took your husband's tools? Goddamn police! They took them and locked them up in the impound in Shantytown. Would having his tools back fix his mind? Who cares? We're not getting any guns if Chen Lin doesn't have his tools. Let's head to Shantytown. Did 
Did you notice? Lynn had a bloody nose. Seems to be in style. Miss Tara. I'm not so sure it was a good idea.